Welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I will explain what is a GCA clamp in relation to PCR primer design and why they may be useful to include in your primers. Simply put, GC clamp is the presence of guanine or cytosine base in the last five bases at the three prime end of PCR primer. So here on the picture you see primer and primer has five prime end and three prime end new strand of the DNA would be extended from 5' end to 3' end direction. So new strand of the DNA is going to grow in this direction and last 5 position of the primer should include or it's good uh, to include cytosine or guanine somewhere in this last 5 positions. Why it's called GC clamp? Because on the corresponding strand of the DNA, cytosine would be spur with guanine, or if we have here in this position guanine, it's going to be cytosine here. So, hence GC clamp. As you know, for example, bases such as adenine base pairs with thymine and has two hydrogen bonds, and guanine base pair with uh, cytosine and has triple hydrogen bond. So that's why we include GC clamp in the last five positions of the bases in the primer in order to stabilize primers annealing to, to the DNA strand. And here you can see other examples of the GC clamps in PCR primers last five positions at the three prime end. And as you see, it's not necessary have to be only single um, inclusion. It can be two. It's not necessary that it's going to be cytosine. As you see, it also can be guanine because guanine and cytosine base pairs with each other and produce triple hydrogen bond. Therefore, guanine and cytosine base pairs are considered to have stronger binding than adenine and thymine base pairs. Since guanine and cytosine base pairs have superior binding, placing one or two of these bases at the end of the primer will encourage complete primer binding. However, it is not recommended to include more than two guanine or cytosine bases in the last five positions of the primer. Doing so can actually have adverse effects by increasing the primer melting temperature and reducing primer specificity. One more time, GC clamp is often recommended during PCR primer design in order to encourage complete primer binding to complementary template. However, too many guanines or cytosine bases, especially at the end of the primers, can have negative effects. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.